the recent actions that we have uh, seen, uh, unfortunately, in, in Afghanistan, it has been very disappointing steps to see uh, some steps being taken backward. Uh, we need to keep engaging and urging them not to take uh, such an action. And we've been uh, also trying to demonstrate uh, for Taliban as, as Muslim country how Muslim countries uh, can uh, conduct their laws, how they can uh, deal uh, with the women issues. Barakat Ramanti is the deputy Afghan ambassador in Doha. He joins me now from Herndon in Virginia. Ambassador, why are we seeing this criticism now from the foreign uh, minister toward the Taliban? What kind of influence can Qatar have over the group? Okay, so uh, along the time that uh, we have engaged with Qatari officials in uh, Doha, they have always been uh, adamant that the Taliban have a very strict view on many things. And they, their exact statement was that, look, uh, the Afghan government and, uh, and the international community are uh, talking at a very higher level with the Taliban, while their uh, le level of understanding and uh, rationale is down there. And in order for us to be able to engage with them, we have to bring ourselves down to their level and then try to elevate them from that point upwards to, so that they, they can make an argument, we can make an argument with them. So this has been all along uh, the belief uh, in the Qatari government, and I'm talking about the highest level engagements with the Qatari government. They have been always of the belief that the Taliban have a long way to go until they understand other parties in, uh, in Afghanistan and the international community. So they have uh, they've known this for a long time, but because of the kind of relationship that they have with the Taliban, uh, they wanted to influence the Taliban in a positive way. And I think that uh, now that they've realized that the Taliban, and this realization has also been there, but, but they, they, they were hopeful that uh, by the time that the Taliban can join a uh, government in Afghanistan and not take over Afghanistan by, the, by use of force, they will, uh, the moderate level um, uh, members of the Taliban will be empowered and then they can uh, probably uh, change. But unfortunately, what we have seen in Afghanistan is that the Haqqani network and the most radical uh, members of the Taliban have taken over power in Afghanistan, and uh, they have not uh, let the moderate, uh, a few moderate people who are in, in, in the Taliban group to, uh, to play any positive role. Yeah, so do you think that the Taliban will listen, that they will take this call and, and the more moderate uh, members of the Taliban would be likely to reconsider the decision, given that it is coming from a Muslim country that follows an Islamic system? Look, Taliban have been in Qatar for almost 10 years now, and uh, I've been engaging with them um, off, uh, you know, in, uh, in, in meetings and different, uh, different off-the-records uh, meetings. And I've seen what they believe in. Uh, unfortunately, even the most moderate uh, Taliban don't believe in, uh, in women's rights in the way that we do believe in. They are having their strict interpretation of Islam. Uh, one of my colleagues put it very, very correctly. They haven't read any new book. Why should we expect them to change? It's, uh, and and uh, um, we have realized that members of the uh, Afghanistan negotiation teams who have been in, in engagement with the Taliban for almost a year have realized and have been uh, telling all along that it's extremely difficult to expect that the Taliban would ever change because their um, interest is to uh, remain radical, to, to impose their own uh, interpretation of uh, Islam and Sharia law on the, uh, on the um, people of the country. So uh, what we have seen in the past one year, more than one year, is that the Taliban have made many commitments, including to cut ties with Al-Qaeda and other terrorist networks. Have they done so? Absolutely not. And that's, uh, that has came in, in multiple reports. They have also promised that they are going to respect uh, human rights and women rights in particular. Have they done so? We have seen in, in Kabul, they didn't let uh, women to come back to their offices, and they have not let the girls to go back to, uh, to schools uh, up until now. Uh, they have also promised to not uh, seize power through, uh, uh, through violence or attack the cities. They have absolutely done so, and they have, we have seen that they have okay. uh, actually uh, intensified violence. So unfortunately, what uh, we are facing at this moment is a group that have uh, learned the, op the art of deception uh, through political propaganda and 
uh, and they um, they are they are very good at, at uh, making pitches to the international community so keep them hopeful but what they actually do is totally different and i absolutely have no ho hope that they are going to change okay. um uh, any anytime soon okay we're going to leave it there for now barakat ramati joining us from herndon virginia thank you